Unfolding for ya. Unfolding for ya. Unfolding Voyage Tick tock, don't let the clock stop. A lot of people have a lot of questions. Some people have the answer. And a lot of people, when they hear the answer, they still refuse to do so. So let's talk about this. The day we was born till the day we die. There is one thing that we are to do. Each and every one of us. And that is to learn the way of the most high. And follow his instructions. Because his instructions is our culture. A way of life. A lot of people get it confused with a different belief because the world can give you many religions to pick and choose from. But if you look at history, one thing we know is that in history, we can look and see where we was to where we are at right now just look at history so with all the world religion that you can pick and choose from you still have to find the most high he is everywhere he created everything and for us to be worthy children we have to learn of him follow the instructions and keep our end of the contract. That is where we must know who we are to understand what it is we need to do. A lot of people may look and say, well, none of that matter. None of that matters. But you got to ask yourself this. And it really don't matter what religion you are. It is always said there is only one name. Because there is only one creator. And in the stories, he gave us his name. But his name is not mentioned in any other world religions. So we have to find him like it is written in Deuteronomy chapter four, verse 28. Read it because it also will give you a clue and a reason why not to follow world religion. A lot of people may say, well, I don't have no religion. Well, that is a person that did not look up the word religion because religion is a word with a definition to it. Look it up in a dictionary because all religion is is a belief. So if you don't have a religion, you don't have a belief. You don't have a belief, you don't have a doctrine. So you everywhere. You don't claim nothing because anything that you will claim you must believe so that you may claim it. It must be something in you that allows you to believe what it is that you believe. Don't be hypocritical to your belief because there's many traps out here and there is so many people that go along with a program and know that program ain't right. 
that sit in the congregation and will just go along with what is going on so they can be seen and to see. A lot of people in the world may look at religion and say, well, it don't matter. Your belief do matter. Your way of life matters. And out of everything that is out here, all we have to do is find the most high. Follow the instructions and continue living our life. And if we are to deny ourselves because we are not who we are right now, for one, we are imprisoned by the flesh. So we have rules. And if you choose not to follow those rules, well, you made your choice. Basically, you damned yourself. And that is your choice that you made. It is no way I will get to the gate and say, I wish I can do it all over again. It just don't work that way. So by all means, by all means, I would like for all of you, all of you, to look in the mirror and say, am I doing my best? To get to Zion? Am I doing my best to walk up right where the Most High will be pleased with me? Look in the mirror and ask yourself that. And whatever answer you come with, it's not too late. At this moment, at this time, when you do that, Walk up right and choose the way of the most high and your life will get better each and every day. But don't be tricked by these traps that are out here to get you to believe a false religion because your walk is your walk and you cannot be hypocritical to that. So don't. The clock is running down. We don't know the day or the hour. Tick tock. Don't let the clock stop. Before you choose to walk upright. Before the most high. Praise be a Yah. The one who came and redeemed us. And there is. No bottle, 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 bottle. Thank <laughs> you.